Good evening and welcome to the Utopian Baseball Universe. This is Joey. We've got a really fun show tonight. Uh, we've got a limited schedule in the Utopian Baseball Universe. We only had seven games. Uh, so we're going to get to those. Uh, we're going to welcome some new members, say uh, hi to a few people, and then uh, we're going to do, we've done this a couple times, uh, we're going to do a live reveal of uh, the result mappings for tomorrow. And I'll, I'll, I'll get to that here in a couple minutes. Let's get you to our top story tonight. Uh, we actually, we, we reported this earlier, but it, it is still the top story. The Red Sox uh, sweeping the Diamondbacks today in our annual Patriots Day game, 4-1. to one. Uh, Smokey Joe Wood was brilliant. Seven scoreless innings. David Ortiz homered his fourth. Uh, two RBIs, Jonathan Papelbon with the save as the Red Sox sweep the Diamondbacks. All three games in the series were memorable. Uh, the ultimate Grand Slam Friday night for uh, Jason Veritek, the come-from-behind victory on Saturday, and then today uh, the, with the Patriots Day victory, the Red Sox sweep the Arizona Diamondbacks. Let's get you the rest of the scores. Uh I've got so many graphics up right now. It's uh, I, I need I need a co-host. If anyone wants to apply to be a co-host, um, I think I need one. Uh, Detroit beat Texas today six to one. Uh, Justin Verlander becomes the first pitcher this year to go five and zero. Oh. Uh, complete game six hitter, three strikeouts. Hank Greenberg and Al Kaline with uh, two RBIs apiece. Kenny Rogers goes to zero and four. Uh, pitching, by the way, is the theme today. We had complete games in six of the seven games. Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh tonight on ABC, our national game. one nothing winners in Houston. George Springer's leadoff single in the first inning is the only hit that John Candelaria, Candelaria gave up tonight. Uh, he walked four, struck out six. But that was it. And the Pirates scored in the third inning on an Al Oliver RBI single. And that's that's your scoring and that's your ball game. John Candelaria with uh, one of the best pitch games of the year thus far. Uh, it was Tampa Bay four, the White Sox one, Blake Snell with a complete game five hitter, Willie Adames with a two-run single in the fourth, Carl Crawford hit his third homer of the year. Um... The Marlins were walk-off winners tonight in Florida, 2-1 to one over the Cubs. D. Gordon with a walk-off solo homer to lead off the ninth off Carlos Zambrano. So the Marlins beat the Cubs 2-1. to one. Uh, In Seattle tonight, it was the Baltimore Orioles 5 and the Mariners nothing. Mike Cuellar, complete game 5 hit shutout, 5 strikeouts. Orioles drew 11 walks in this game, scored five runs on only three hits. Cuellar goes to 3-1. and one. Felix Hernandez is 0-2. And, and our final score tonight in San Diego, the Padres 4, the Nationals 1. Denis Lamet going the distance, earning his first Utopian victory. Gary Templeton with a two-run single in the fifth. Greg Vaughn homering for the Padres tonight. Our top hitter, uh, D. Gordon, uh, walk-off homer against the Cubs. Our top pitchers, John Candelaria and Mike Cuellar, each with complete game shutouts. Those are our top pitching performances tonight. Want to quick welcome some new members. Kyle Williams, Brian Davis, and Joe Chirino. Thanks for being here. Again, I say this every day. If you guys have any questions about what this is or uh, how we simulate, let me know. I never leave my house. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I also want to thank that Roblox Sombrero, uh, who for the last three or four days has been commenting on on pretty much all the videos. He's, he's not on Facebook. Uh, but thank you uh, for being a subscriber and liking the content on YouTube. Uh, 
the YouTube channel is the same as Facebook, Utopian Baseball Universe. So thank you to that Roblox sombrero. I'm probably not even saying that right. Okay, before we get to the simulation, uh, I had a great question earlier today. Uh, so I'm going to answer that right now. Joe Callahan, member of the group, asks, how do you keep Utopian stats... And what's happening in the MLB separate in your head? That's a great question. So what I do, and, and you guys are going to see the process tonight. Again, I, I've done this a couple times, but you're going to see it tonight. Is uh, back in, I think it was uh, December, I loaded, I basically I created a spreadsheet and I loaded Every year from 1902 through 2019 onto the spreadsheet. Then what I, uh, then what I do is every every morning or every evening, uh, usually it's the evening before. But today it was this morning. Um, I use a random uh, number generator to pull a year from that spreadsheet. And then once the year is chosen, I use the same technology to pull a date. Okay. So uh, the way this, the way the spreadsheet is, is obviously I don't have any January, February, um, March, October, November, December. So I'm, I'm only pulling from, you know, April through September. So once once the generator pulls a year, then I pull a date. And in some cases, I need two dates because I don't have enough games because because my schedule is usually sixteen. Uh, like like tomorrow's sixteen games, so I need sixteen. So in in a lot of cases, I I, I pull two dates. So then what happens is. Uh, once I have my date and my year, or my my year and my date, then I use a random number shuffler, and and I have a document that's pinned. You guys can look at that right now if you want or later. Then I shuffle so that I have my schedule on the left, the date from history on the right. I hit shuffle and then I simply map over. So if I'm looking at 16 games, I go one through four uh, from top to bottom. And then left to right. So 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12, 10 through 16. And then I've got the same amount of games on my right. And then when I hit shuffle, if uh, let's say the ninth or number 9 is pulled first, then the ninth result from history maps into my schedule. So, for example, if, if there was a... Uh, five to two win for the home team. That maps over into mine, and then once I've done that for all sixteen games, then I basically write the content. I go into each box score, and then the scoreboard that you guys see daily. You guys see a winning pitcher, losing pitcher, save, who homered, and then I give some highlights. And. So Joe's question is, how do I keep the stats? Um, that's it. So every day, once everything's been written, and then what I do is I, I schedule a post for later in the, uh, the next day. Then I go, I take my spreadsheet, and I take these, and I just start recording information. So, you know, if there were five homers for, for the Red Sox, I look to see who hit them and I just mark them down. I, what I do, because if I did anything more than this, I would not be able to work or bathe myself or eat. I keep track on these, on these uh, poster boards, wins, losses, saves, homers. That's it. Anything else I'm, I'm reporting to you is fiction. Okay. So uh, in September, if I give you a top 10 in doubles or a top 10 in batting average, 
Um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing a lot of that just kind of from, from memory uh, because I, cause I'm dealing with this two or three hours a day. So like I know who's getting on base a ton or who's doubling or whatever. I'm just not, I just can't track all of it because I, it just simply would take too much time. So what I usually do, and this is actually what I did last year, was uh, at the beginning of September, I think with about three weeks left, um, I took, uh, again, a lot of it kind of based on memory. I took like the top, I created top tens for each statistical category, doubles, stolen bases, triples. And then I would track those top 10 for the for the rest of the year so that we, we had a definitive leader in each category. Um, but homers, wins, losses, saves are tracked daily. Joe, I, I hope that answers your question. If, uh, if you have more specific questions, I'd be happy to answer them. But that's pretty much what I do. Uh, this So this project... Um, I, I work on most of it, probably 95% of it after hours. So like I'm going to be writing tomorrow's results right now. We're going to do that right now. Now, uh, in preparation for this, I have to bring up uh, my, my shuffler because I have my date. I'm not going to tell you guys the date because then you guys will just check and you'll see the results for tomorrow, and, and that's no fun. But I will tell you that when I saw the date, I didn't recognize the date at first, but when I when I entered the date into baseball reference, and then I was looking at the box scores, a name popped out, and I'm like, oh, I think that I think this is that game I remember from high school, and I clicked and it was. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Now the thing is. I'm not going to know uh, who gets credit for this until I hit shuffle. We're going to do that live right now. I've got all the box scores. I've got my schedule. So actually, let me minimize so that I can see. I've got, I need a second screen or something. Here we go. Make this a little bit smaller so that I can see everything. So now what I'm going to do is I have I have 16 games, and I'm gonna, so I'm going to shuffle one through 16, and then I'm going to map it over, and then as soon as, like again, I'm not going to tell you what history is being made or who's getting credit for it. You guys will see that tomorrow night, but you're going to see me react to it because one of these teams is going to make some sort of history, some sort of performance. Um. And you guys are going to find out who, uh, tomorrow who that is, obviously. But I'm going to find out now. Uh, so let's let's do it. One, two, three, four. So now I'm entering numbers into the spreadsheet. And then I'm going to hit randomize. So now it's creating a order. I get rid of that. Pop this up. So now I have my order. So ju just to, again, give you an idea of how this works. So the first number is nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ninth game from what I see map that into my first game okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay all right so here we go and as soon as i get to the history making event if you will i'll, I'll know where it's going on my list so Obviously, I haven't gotten there yet. I've mapped out one game. It's uh, it's an interesting final, if you will. 
So let's just do it. Let's just do. I'll, we'll do all sixteen. It'll take me a couple minutes. Uh, here we go. Two, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is it. All right, so th this is it. We're uh, okay. All right. Uh, this will be so. So I know, I know who this benefits, and tonight. If you can keep a secret, I'm going to reach out to one of you and uh, maybe appear on the show tomorrow. Okay, but I'm going to I'm going to map out the rest of this. But Just gotta be careful here. Right. All right. Thirteen. Okay. I'm about halfway through the simulation, and all I'm doing right now is mapping over scores. And then after the show, then I'll go into each box score and then start filling in the particulars. Interesting. There's some interesting stuff. Tomorrow's going to be a very compelling day. Let's see. One. Right. Another interesting final. Four games left here. So, I now, I'm the only human alive that knows who wins, who loses tomorrow, what the scores are. As I've shared, uh, we have a really cool uh, result in one of them. 
That's going to be benefit, obviously, one of the 32 teams. I will reach out to a fan of one of those teams, and I'll just ask if you want to be on the show tomorrow. Um, kind of, So you can uh, react. We can get your reaction uh, to what I'm seeing here. So just, you know, it's, it's obviously going to be good for your team. I'm not going to, you know set you up and uh, find out that the team is moving away from your city or something like that. But I have it all right here. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to listen to some baseball podcasts. I want to say hi to Mark Mancini. If he's watching, uh, he reached out to me tonight. Uh, and uh, we might be, I guess, doing something soon. Mark, uh, welcome. Welcome. Uh, but that's all right. That's all I got for you now. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.